Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So fan question here from Mark Legrand from Ottawa, Ontario. Um, shout out to you. Thanks for the beer. Appreciate it. So Mark has been out of tennis for nine years, um, had kids, life got in the way uh, because of this uh, COVID-19 pandemic uh, and tennis being one of the sports you can play, he's uh, now taken it back up. And his question to me is, um, let's see, he has two old rackets, a pure, a Babolat Pure Team Storm, uh, which later became Babolat Pure Team Control, uh, and the same version, which is now the Pure Strike. Uh, not sure which one does the, not sure which one, he says. So it's, it's essentially like a Pure Control, which turned into a Pure Strike. Um, and he's asking, uh, do tennis frames age? Um, he says, I take care of them, no abuse of any kind, so they look in good shape. But does a racket inherently lose its aerodynamism and other tech specs over time? Uh, just from hitting the ball so many times? I would assume not, but I'm not the expert, is what Mark said. So interestingly, Mark, um, I've actually gotten this question six times in the last three days. So I do answer this question pretty frequently, um, monthly. I probably, I mean, more so lately, like 10 to 20 times I answer the same question. So I have 12 consistent players that buy three rackets from me yearly, pretty much on the dot. Every year they come in, they drop their three, um, give these to donation or, you know, whatnot, or sell them for me or whatnot. And they're usually blades or strikes, um, arrows, pure drives, and they get three new ones. So like in that blade video I did, that was one of those guys. They wanted me to weight, balance, and swing weight them to get them the three closest ones, right? So why do they do that? Why do they want three new rackets every year? So when a racket is on like my sale wall, right? There's no strings on them. You just see the placard. There's no tension on those rackets. Once I string them, it will have to hold whatever poundage of tension that I put on them pretty much for the rest of its life, the racket's life. When you hit with them, they do take a lot of punishment. The strings are holding the tension. The ball is coming anywhere from, what, 30 to 100 miles an hour and then you have to send the ball back. The punishment from the ball striking the string bed makes the racket bend too. So that actually softens the racket. So graphite is actually a braided material. It's, it's I don't wanna say charcoal, but graphite is made out of carbon graphite. So it's carbon in a racket is braided like this. And as balls are struck on the string bed, the graphite actually flexes like that, right? That causes fatigue. That causes softening. That softens up the racket over time. Like if your racket, Mark, looks like this racket right here, this one's called the Pure Control, Pure Control Team. I don't know if this is the one you, one of the ones you have, but this is the original pure control. Um, they added team on the end to this. I'm not sure why, but 
Pure Control team is what it was. I refer to it as Pure Control. This racket's about 20 years old. If this is what you have, the racket's probably soft. The, the racket's probably fatigued. So, he, But here's the thing, though. There is really nothing wrong with the racket. You can still play with it. It just depends on how sensitive you are to like a softer racket. You will not know, you will not know how a new one feels unless you buy one or try one uh, versus this one. Once you do try a new one though, you will feel the stiffness return. That racket will definitely be stiffer. It will be more powerful. You will notice the difference. This racket has softened over time. 20 years of softening is pretty significant. But like I said, it really depends on you. Those 12 people that I see every year, they, they just want the stiffness to be resurrected in a new racket, right? But if you love your racket and you don't, you know, you're not that particular about how it feels because you have pretty much um, been using the racket as it's been softening. Therefore, you really don't notice that much of a difference. You would have to use a new racket in order for you to feel that again, the stiffness again. So my advice is if you love your racket, stick with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Maybe get a string job here or there. It sounds like, Mark, you already did that from uh, some of my advice. So um, hope that worked out. But if you love your racket, stick with it. Um, if you try a racket, I think you will feel um, a definite difference, though. So, Mark, your racket has fatigued. But if you love it, stick with it. For everybody else, you won't know unless you try something else or buy something else, if your racket uh, will feel different, but your racket has indeed fatigued. So I would say one year, it changes quite a bit. Two years more, three years more. So the longer you have it with strings inside, whether you play with it or not, will soften up. All right, hope that helped. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.